Hello and welcome to the first episode of Dessert Roulette. This bi-weekly segment, which means once every two weeks or once every other week, there we go. I'm gonna be pulling a dessert, a base dessert out of a hat. And uh, then I'm gonna take a couple of days to shop and plan and bake. And if I get the opportunity, confer with another chef to see, you know, ideas for this um, dessert. I've come up with 20 different desserts and they range from like fruit pies to creme brulee or oldie tiny candy bars to, you know, tarts and things like that. So it should be an opportunity to you know, uh, do something different and have it be, you know, something eye-opening and interesting every other week. So yeah. So today is the first episode and I know that it's called dessert roulette and I'm pulling it out of a hat, but what am I going to call it? Dessert out of a hat? Actually, that sounds pretty good. Okay. I reserve the right to hold on to that title just in case. So let me put you down. I'm going to take, these are all the desserts written down on pieces of paper. Hey, and if you guys have any ideas for some desserts or anything that I can include in this, go right ahead. So, having them all in here. Okay. I'm kind of excited because there's some things in here that I kind of don't want to do and some things in here that I do want to do. Not going to look. All right. I got one. I'm familiar with all of them, all the different desserts that are in the hat, but some I'm a lot more familiar with and some I'm a lot less familiar with. So this week's dessert is gonna be creme brulee. <laughs> okay, so I gotta come up with a creme brulee flavor and, oh God, it's been a long time since I've done creme brulee. And once I'm done with the dessert that I do, I'm gonna put it aside so I don't keep repeating anything. I'm gonna keep them because so, if this is good, then we'll redo it. Um, but creme brulee, hmm. You know I'm lactose intolerant, so if I can make it vegan or lactose free, that would be interesting. And some interesting flavors as well. I like peach. But then again, strawberry, lemon. I want to do what's in season as well. I don't want to do any kind of like, sometimes you have to do artificial flavors because it's, uh, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, so creme brulee is my dessert for the first uh, dessert roulette. So let's see how this goes. It'll be fun. See you later. Bye. Hey kids, so we are continuing on with our first episode of Dessert Roulette where I am making creme brulees. Exciting. But instead of using regular cream, I'm using coconut cream and I'm gonna um, add some lime to it. So you get it? Putting some lime in the coconut. Isn't that fantastic? Aren't I clever? Anyways, so I got some ramekins. They're absolutely adorbs. Right here, look at that. They're cute, huh? So got some ramekins. We're gonna get that going and I will show you what the creme brulees are all about. See you in a bit. So we've got coconut cream, egg yolks, a half of a vanilla bean, a lime, and sugar. I'm going to let the coconut milk and the lime zest and the vanilla bean, which I scraped, steep for just a little bit. So I'm going to add in the sugar. And we're going <clears> to <throat> heat that up until the sugar dissolves. Before we temper this into the egg yolks, I need to strain out all of the bits and pieces of lime and vanilla. I'm also gonna transfer it to a smaller pot so I can actually maneuver it while I'm tempering it. Okay, so you wanna temper the eggs by slowly pouring the milk into the eggs while you're continuously whisking. You don't want to stop whisking and look how fast I'm whisking because you want to cook the eggs without scrambling them. So just keep going until you've completely gotten all of the milk into your eggs. 
Okay, now I am going to uh, get some of the, put the custard mix in the ramekins, and I want to do this very carefully. Keep filling up all of your ramekins, and then when you're done, we're going to put some water into the pan, and we're going to water bath cook them. I'm going to pour a little bit of water in now, and then I'm going to take it over to the oven, and I'm going to pour the rest of the water in there. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, it's been 40 minutes. I don't know if you can see this, but see how there's just a teeny tiny bit of jiggle that's there? That's what you want. Okay, kids, let's finish off these creme brulees. I'm going to dust them with sugar and torch them. <laughs> okay, here's the fun bit. Put your sugar in a nice even layer, touching all the sides of the creme brulee. Make sure it's in a nice even layer and then torch it. You want to keep the flame moving constantly so the sugar dances, just like that. I don't really taste the lime. I taste a lot of the coconut. I mean, I wish it was more limey, more limey, but the brulee worked. My lactose friendly custard work. So there is your first episode of dessert roulette. In two weeks, we will do another episode. Thanks a lot for joining me. And come on back, there's more to come. Bye.